It's the perfect location because this is just a service alley and it's the back side of a bunch of buildings and walls and parking and it's kind of junky and um, I just kind of took a look at it and thought about Barcelona and said you know wouldn't it be great if we turned all these walls into art and made it a nice place and the community has been incredibly supportive. The city has been supportive. Our, our block party uh, we had a fundraiser and uh, you know a lot of donations were given so I think that was a great indication that people like what we're doing. Great. So you've got a number of different artists here in a bunch of different styles. What was the process like getting them to come out and do their work with you? I've, I'm in a creative, uh, involved in a group called Petra Kucha, and through that relationship met Ishmael, um, who's very well known as a street artist. And uh, we struck up a friendship, and he was my first wall. And when he made that wall, uh, it just opened the doors. He had relationships with other artists. They said, how can I get a wall? Um, and it just went from there. All I had, you know, I got sketches. I got the city's approval. I helped raise a little bit of money to pay for a little bit of paint here and there. But mostly everything is donated by the artist. So do you know what the artist is going to create when they approach you? Or is the final result a surprise to everybody? Actually, pretty much every piece uh, has been somewhat different than what they've submitted. They give me a sketch, I submit it, the city typically says okay, and uh, they start working on it, and that's kind of the beauty, is you get to watch that evolutionary process of the artwork. It starts as one thing and it ends up sometimes very differently. So where do you see the outdoor initiative heading? Uh, we're talking to someone at um, Park Circle in North Charleston about starting a chart gallery over there. Um, we, I really want to create a, a, a great website using QR codes as a way to link all of this artwork together. CHART stands for Charleston Art, so ultimately it's not going to be just about Avondale uh, or Park Circle. I mean, I'd love to just create a, a, an environment where anybody who comes to town can see all the artwork in Charleston, or at least know where it is and, and, and where it exists. Um, and our website is www.avondalescene.com and that's kind of what we're using uh, with the technology side and QR codes to communicate that information. Great, well thank you so much for talking to us and like Jeff said, go to avondalescene.com for more information. Thanks. Thank you.